Hey guys, this is Aaron Thomas with Toyful Hunden Survival Gear. And today I want to talk to you guys about something that's pretty important and it's called uh, survivability. And one of the things that I see out there that's become real popular is these traditional style survival paracord bracelets. And they use this cobra stitch and it works just great in a survival situation when you have the time to take it apart and maybe make it a field expedient a shelter or maybe even tie up some gear, whatever it might be, repair some gear, uh, even use it as fishing line if you have to take it apart and take the inner linings out or the inner strings out. But uh, what I've developed here is something a little bit different and I call it the Diamondback. Um, and as you can see it actually looks like the nested scales of a Diamondback rattler's uh, rattle or the skin, uh, the, the belly of a snake. Um, and what's different about this versus other traditional style uh, survival bracelets is how quickly it comes apart. Um, when you need it, you need it, and if you need it fast, then you don't need to be fiddling around 10, 20 minutes trying to take apart a survival bracelet um, in a survival situation when, when minutes count and seconds count. Uh, so the easy thing, to, the, the thing to do here if, is find your center loop, which is your top back ridge, like the spine here, and you want to take it apart by pulling it through your loop on the bottom. And it may, you might have to work with it a little bit because it's singed and got a little, uh, it's singed on the end there. And then you need to find your corresponding loop on your back here. And let me work with that a little bit and cut and we'll come back after I uh, show you what loop I'm pulling out here. Well, uh, I actually took this thing to Iraq with me so it's been with me for quite a few years now. Pretty handy tool. But uh, I'm just going to use like a screwdriver or you could use an awl. And what you want to do is get under the, the, the loop of this backbone, the backbone here, this ridge, and make yourself a nice little finger loop. Just work with it a little bit. It may be a little bit tight. But uh, if you don't have one of these multi-tools, then that's okay. You know, you use what you've got around you. You use what resources you have available to you. You use a stick. You can use I mean, whatever you can find. And then you just stick your finger in here in the loop and just pull it. And it should make a little zip sound as it comes out. You can hear it. It comes through the loops. And then you can undo this buckle here. This loop will come out. Save that buckle. Put it somewhere on your person. Now you can work with this. Pull that through and the rest of it should just come apart. Just like that you've got yourself 10, 12, up to 20 feet of paracord depending on your wrist size. Uh, as you can see, and that easy. As you can see, it's raining right now. It's, it's a little bit of a downpour. So in this in this particular situation, I would take off my EDC, my everyday carry, or whatever pack you might have. You want to get out and make a field expedient shelter. You can tie it up between two trees like this. Do a couple of half hitches or some clove hitches, and throw your tarp over that, or throw your poncho or whatever you might have available, and get yourself out of the rain. So this is Aaron Thomas with Twiffle Hunden, and hey, check it out. This is the Diamondback Rattler.